<laughs> Hi, welcome to Wolf TV, and I'm Bowen. I'm at m my friend's grumpy guy, and he's going to show me what's in his bag. I have given this bag to him in like a little trade deal, and I'm going to show you what's going on with this thing. Let's take a look at this. He's gonna do is show me what's in his bag, and uh, we're gonna introduce him over to show me what is in his bag. All right, this is the, this is my friend, the grumpy guy. Edit, edit. And this hey. is my friend, that grumpy guy Hi, on Wolf TV, and he's going to show everybody what's in his bag for me. So, grumpy guy, what's in your bag? Well, bunch of junk. <laughs> Let's start right here, and I'm going to take the stuff off, and I'll repack the pack later. But I think I have shown my favorite water bottle more than once, and that'll be on here somewhere. This little clip has my sunglasses and my prescription glasses in it, and that'll stay on the outside. This is this harness is one that I picked up at a secondhand store here in town, where I live, and put on here. Uh, the other was just a little too tight on me, so I, I switched that out. Now, it seemed to work pretty good so far. Got a little pocket right here on the strap and I keep my snap-on pliers in it. I'm going to stick them in my pocket so I don't lose them. And I keep a barrel rod and striker in that pouch. It's paid for. And the next real quick I'll show you, you've all seen before more than once, is my crash knife that was a gift from crash bush craft and he just changed his channel name and i don't remember what he changed it to so i'm sorry i will find it and i will put that one in the description below because i don't remember what he changed it to uh the other one i'm not going to take off it's on my belt it's my knife from tom chitwood chf 37 and ferro rod and striker on it so then we'll go through the package. This is a Kilimanjaro pack. And I really like this pack. So, me and Coop done some swapping around and talking around and jumping back and forth to make this, to get this pack. Top pouch up here, it's a mess kit. Now I've had it for ages and ages. One water bottle. Two water bottles, both aluminum. I, that way I can boil water in them if I have to, and then pour off from there. Uh, here, two pairs of gloves. That's all that's in there on that. Just two pair of gloves that I like. My favorite is gloves. And. Then I got two knives. This knife you've all seen before. This was a gift from a guy at the little second hand store I was just talking about. And I carry that with me. Just, I like to keep plenty of knives. So, got that one. My brother-in-law gave this little hatchet and knife set to me uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Love the love, love the hatchet. Not real wild about the knife, but the hatchet's great. And so that that usually goes with me. So get them out of the way real quick. 
come down to the next pocket and this is the one that's full of just junk junk <laughs> don't lose that I'm trying to dig all this out of here at one time so I have all of it together but I'm not going to be successful at doing it this is my Sawyer Mini yeah. I have used this a couple times and uh, works fantastic. Ranger Kuki has one of these set up on a bucket at his camp and we used it over there and his water has a kind of a rotten egg smell to it over there at his camp and it took it takes it takes the smell and taste right out. And of course the rain poncho. Extra batteries for flashlights and my camera. Stan. No, Pucker Ridge. Right. That would. <laughs> that Parker Ridge gave me. Binoculars. It's a cheap set. Probably 20 bucks or so. A little mini fishing kit. Bobbers, hooks, sinkers. Couple flies in it, leaders, rubber worms. Multi tool, just a little cheapy. I don't know, had it for a long time. Toenail clippers, also works good for nipping fishing line. Uh, they actually work really good for wire cutters. Two space blankets. Never used either one of them, don't hope I never have to. Uh, another part of my little fishing kit. Now you've all seen this before. One little blue and white rubber worm, and then it's a gray and white topwater minnow. I have caught so many fish on these things. This is my second or third one. I've got another used one right now, and I think I've had one once before this. But I've seen this dollar ninety-eight at Walmart. If you need a good a good bait to put in your tackle box, get you one. You can't beat them. I've caught so many fish on that little thing, it's unreal. Paracord. I'm not going to dig it all out. I know there's one bundle of 100 foot, and I think another two bundles of 100 foot, and one of 50, I think, is what's in there. A bunch of it. Wooden spoon. Wooden spatula. Wooden fork. Use them things until they're not usable anymore. So I'm going to go buy some new ones. Bucket dollar store. First aid kit. You might even put that back in your front pocket. Too. Yeah. Uh, flashlight. This is a little solar charger. that I keep, that we got, just before the rendezvous, and I will say at the rendezvous, I have a Galaxy 4, and it died, just about died on me at the rendezvous, and four hours on this little solar charger brought my battery from, on my phone from almost dead to fully charged. So, it's a good little 20, 20 bucks, I think, what we get for it online. Another flashlight. I don't know what these things are called. Just a hood goes down over your head and everything. I carry that around with me in the winter time. Cause it's warm and I'm soft and tender. I don't like cold weather. <coughs> when I was at Ranger Cookies, the mosquitoes were quite bad one day. And Ranger Cookie gave this to me. And you've all seen these reviewed on YouTube more than once and uh, they say yeah they work okay no they don't work okay they work really good because the mosquitoes out there were terrible and we fired this little dude up and hung this one from a tree Ranger Cookie had another one and hung it on the other side of the area where we were sitting and this little thing kept the mosquitoes away between the two of them did not bother us uh, and then, Lord love him, he was kind enough to give this to me when we left, and I love it. So, this will always be in my pack year-round. 
because I don't want to take a chance of not having it. <laughs> Little Altoids tin. Uh, just miscellaneous stuff. I'm not going to crack it open. Just don't see no need in it, but it's just got junk in it. Bandanas. I carry a lot of bandanas. Tukey was watching me put my stuff in this pack. Uh, I carry a lot of bandanas. Stanley Adventure set. What can you say? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knows what that is. For, for, for a $15 cook kit, you ain't going to find nothing no better anywhere. No. Love my Stanley. I just like it so well I went and bought my wife one. And as I said, lots of bandanas. Throwing stars. I play with them a little bit. I'm not real good with them, but I do play with them some. But if nothing else, you can always take you a stick and stick through there and use them to smack something in the head with it. You know? And if you get bored, you can always just throw them in a tree. This one here, same kind of pouch. But it's got a magnifying glass in it. And as everybody can see, my wife has joined us in the back. That's all right. They're watching you hold me in and carrying on. Now the picture. Now I'm not going to take all these out, but Ranger Cookie will go give me a handful of honey. He, he couldn't mm. uh, use sugar, so he can eat sh uh, the honey. And... Mm. So love my honey. He can put that in his coffee if he. I love you too, baby. Aww. Another flashlight. Everybody know what that is. Help me. Jaga. <laughs> Say Jaga. Somebody help me. My brain's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the body just ain't caught up yet. This is my firebox. Keep a little piece of a file in it, used for a striker. As well as if I need to file my axe or something, I can do that. Jar cloth. Uh, cord here. I think it was that old man land gave that to me at the rendezvous. Flint. There's some charred wood in here. Some horse fungus that's been charred. Cookie was blown up a piece of it for me a while ago. This little tin is a Campbell snuff tin. And I got some birch bark in there, some snare wire, and chapstick. I hardly ever use it on my lips, but it is great to put on your knife blades to keep them from rusting. So if you need something, that's what I recommend you use. <coughs> this is just a little ferro rod on a magnesium block you get at um, Arbor Freight. It's a little fish kit back here. I need a fish kit. I like the fish. So. And that is all for that pack. Then, this pack, most of you, I think, have seen before. And I'm not going to dig everything out of this little pack because there's just too much stuff in it. A little fishing pole. Telescoping fishing pole. Can't beat it. Just pull it all out. Telescope's out to four, four foot and five inches or something like that. Telescope's down to 16 inches. Fits down in this little backpack. Really great. You can't beat it. Best little fishing pole. I've used that to pick up a lot of fish on it. Uh, fishing line. Sterno for my sterno stove. 
I keep an extra fishing reel in here. What else I got stuffed in this thing? A little shovel. This is four pound fishing line. Uh, this this you can use for sewing thread and everything else. Uh, medicine, breast mint, and some fish hooks here on fishing line. Rigged up, ready to go. And that's pretty much all that I got in here right now. I don't have everything in here. I'm using a little propane stove and burner over there. Uh, but I use that to make coffee on when I'm out here at the little house. And uh, I don't have my sleeping bag or any of that stuff out here. It's all inside the little house and I didn't want to dig it all out here. As well as my sleeping mat and air mattress. My air mattress. Thank you. I can't remember all of them. <clears throat> you can probably so. grab another bag. Well, that seems the uh, the grumpy guy. What's in his bag? <laughs> he did a good, well job. I think maybe he needs a. You can put a sleeping bag there. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you for joining us at Wolf TV. And I'm Bowen, and this is the grumpy guy. Grumpy guy. Come down a little bit. And, <laughs> I, am, and I am. And I am grumpy too most of the time. Especially when somebody's taxes back. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm Ranger Cookie, also bowling right now. And this is Whoop TV. I'll see y'all next time. And this Sit is Grumpy. We'll see you all next time. And there's Mrs. Grumpy. There's Mrs. Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs>